Over the past 25 years, WaterAid in Ghana works with local and international partners to transform lives by improving access to safe water, sanitation, and hygiene in Ghana's poorest communities. I'm very excited to share with you funding that we have received last year in May 2011. We are excited to be working with the Australian government on a new uh, program called the Australian and African Community Engagement Scheme. We call it the ACES program. This uh, program work is filling a big gap for some of our partners and communities that are in the southern parts of, of Ghana. Uh, what's exciting about the work that we're doing and what is new in terms of the approach that we're using is that it's based on the concept of uh, the strength-based approach. We are excited about this funding and partnership support from Australian Aid for International Development because uh, it will facilitate poor people in our operational communities to improve access to water sanitation and hygiene and connect to improve their other livelihood you know endeavors in ghana we are implementing the the project in um equipping north district we are also in dangbe west and we are in the uh, ablekuma central sub metro which is part of our urban accra project we are in the second year of implementation and i would say that the first year has gone uh, well, the ACES project partners are Equipim Community Development Program, ACDEM, ProNet Accra, and a new partner, Center for Indigenous Knowledge and Organizational Development, SICOD. We have three of our partners who we are working with. Two of them were chosen because they have been working with WaterAid for more than 15 and 20 years. They have uh, shown to be reliable partners and uh, to deliver well on the facility, the various water facilities that we uh, provide for communities. Uh, CCOD is one of our newest partners and they are leading in this program with um, teaching and working with our partners and in the communities to promote our strength-based approach to water sanitation and hygiene development. Center of Indigenous Knowledge and Organizational Development, CCOD, is actually engaged in working with traditional authorities to promote endogenous development, that is looking at development from within, where communities use their own local-based resources to bring about development within their own communities. CCOD came to partnership with Water Aid through an US Aid project called WASH and we've been engaging with them for the past one year now. And we are working in three districts as at now, that is Ablikuma Sub-Metro, uh, Dangbe West District, and Ikrapim North District. Agdeb, one of water aid in Ghana's first partner, are engaged in water provision, sanitation improvement, hygiene promotion, and advocacy. With funding from water aid in Ghana through ACES program, Agdeb is drilling boreholes in Sawenya, 
Nyawunso, Okakope, Kenten Kreng, and Ejebia in the Ikuapem North District. Pronet is another water aid in Ghana partner in the implementation of water, sanitation, and hygiene promotion projects. You have two project areas uh, which are both water aid funded. One is for the rural um, sector, and the other is the urban project. The urban project is the Abdelkuma Central Submetro. It's under the Abdelkuma Central Submetro. And the rural one is uh, under the Dangbe West District Assembly. To address the increasing challenges in the wash areas, Water Aid in Ghana is positioned to expand its work to reach more of the poorest people in the selected communities and the country through services delivery and by influencing policy and practice. This is in line with its vision. It is, it is crucial also because even though Ghana, as of 2011, uh, water coverage from the Ghana water and community water perspective stood at 63%, uh, encouraging uh, there are still a lot of rural areas with that access to potable water. And through our collaboration with Australian Aid for International Agency, AusAid, uh, a lot of communities will have access to potable water. Town Council Line, located in Ablikuma Central, in the Greater Accra region, is an urban community with challenges with water and poor sanitation facilities. Water Aid in Ghana and Pronet Accra provided an institutional latrine for the Buhari Islamic School and two water kiosks. In the Ablikuma Central Submetro, we are working with schools we have currently built an institutional latrine for the school there and they are using it. It is disability friendly, it is girl friendly. We have separate latrines for boys and for girls. In the Ablekoma Central Submetro as well, we have also supported them to construct water kiosk to also help improve the water challenges that they face. Their water flows in the night. So with the provision of the water kiosk, the water is able to store during the night. In the past year, under the ACES program, Water Raid in Ghana has in collaboration with its partners and district assemblies provided iron removal plants, institutional latrines, and facilitated community-led total sanitation, CLTS. In the Dangwe West District, five rural communities Dunyakope, Atrobinya, Tenya, Achavanya, and Klebiko underwent massive wash education and projects. We have a, a cylinder, a washer, a rising means, and then a casing, then the hand pump. The hand pump is fitted there for easy drawing of the water from underground. And then the water passes through a conveyor system into a treatment plant called iron remover plant. In the iron remover plant is divided into four chambers. That is, the first chamber takes the raw water, and then in the second chamber, it settles. Then in the third chamber, the iron is being removed from the water. In the fourth chamber, the clear water enters into the fourth chamber, and then we have a, a big tap here where they draw the water from. Equity and inclusion is also a very important um, approach to this project and with this we are working with persons with disabilities, women, children, because we realize that these people are marginalized and most of the time their contributions are not taken when decisions are being made in our communities. So for instance in our work in the wash we have tried to design facilities that are accessible to persons with disabilities so that um, in communities where there are blind people, in communities where there are crippled, where there are persons with disability, they can easily access these facilities. To totally eliminate open defecation, WaterAid and its partners have empowered these four communities, Tenya, Klebiko, Achavanya and Atrobinya in the Dangwe West District to build latrines with local materials. This will stimulate a collective sense 
of disgust and shame as they confront facts about open defecation and its negative effect on the entire community. <laughs> In the Kyapim North District, under our partner, ACDEP, projects are underway in Nyawonsu, Sukwenya, and Kentenkring. Community members would soon be proud owners of boreholes that will finally come to replace their long search for safe water. Also, all is set to make provisions for boreholes at Ejebia, Bukokope, Buariso, and Etiemu. The first year of the ACES project has seen a major stride in achieving strategic objectives. We look forward to adding value to more communities. We believe that we'll continue to document some of the full experiences, which I believe uh, the full people will talk to, you know, so that we're able to share with our other international partners on this program. Since we've started the ACES program, we've had uh, many successes. We have been recognized for the contributions that CCOD and our partners are making. We've had some review meetings where um, Ghana is, is definitely being recognized as one of the key organizations and partners for, this, uh, for the ACES program. So I'm wishing everybody who is participating in the program from our partners to the communities much continued success. In working with our partners, we create a solid and friendly foundation to allow partners bring on board their abilities and knowledge towards improving livelihoods and sustaining the environment. At the individual organizational level, since we started partnering with, with, with WaterAid, it, it's gone beyond just, selling, just sharing technologies or sharing processes. It's a process in which WaterAid has actually tried to bring us up as a strong organization by ourselves because our financial systems, our administrative systems have all been improved because of inputs we got from water aid. The district assemblies played a major and vital role in the implementation of the ACES project in the first year. Their support has been enormous in terms of assisting water aid and its partners to locate deprived communities in their district. They have immensely contributed to sensitizing communities on water, sanitation and hygiene practices and they have proven to be partners we can always rely on. As we begin the second year of the ACES project, Water Aid in Ghana, our partners, the district assemblies, schools, and communities say, for the smiles and improvements to our lives.